Be honest. How many passwords do you reuse? Today we're going to fix that once and for all. I'm going to show you Apple's built-in passwords app on the Mac. What it is, where it lives, and how to use it to create truly strong, unique passwords that your Mac saves and fills for you automatically. By the end, you'll stop typing logins, you'll stop reusing passwords, and stop stressing about the forgot password leak. So if you're ready to go, let's get started. So on the Mac, you already have a full password manager, and it's called Passwords. It became a part of Mac OS a couple operating systems ago, and now it's its own individual app. It stores your account passwords, your pass keys, your Wi-Fi passwords, and even can fill in those pesky verification codes. And it's all in one place. It gives you security recommendations if something's weak, reused, or appears in a known breach. And my favorite thing that it does is when you're signed in with your Apple ID and you turn on iCloud Keychain, it securely keeps everything in sync across all of your Apple devices same, logged in with that same Apple ID. Mwah! It's beautiful. So let me show you where it lives. On your Mac, click on Go in the Apple menu and open Applications. Scroll down until you find the password app. Alternately, you can use the command and space to open Spotlight and type in the word passwords and launch the app straight from there. This is my preferred method I did here. You'll, authentic you'll authenticate with Touch ID or your Mac login. So if you haven't had Touch ID set up yet, then you'll use your Mac login and then you'll see your saved items. You can, from there, you can click on any entry to view the username, the password, the passkey indicator, the option to add verification codes, and even a link to change the password on the website. So when you're ready to upgrade to something that's maybe weak or that's been known to be in a security breach. As I mentioned earlier, my favorite part of passwords is the syncing capability with iCloud Keychain to all your other devices, even on a Windows PC. That's right, you heard it. So on your Mac, you're gonna to go to System Settings, you're gonna click on your name up at the top, choose iCloud and Passwords, and turn on Sync This Mac. That's what keeps your passwords, pass keys, and Wi-Fi de details available on all your other Apple devices. Now, when it comes to passwords, a strong password is not Fluffy Dog 123 with a capital F and a capital D with an exclamation point at the end. Sure, it has a lot of letters, capitals, numbers, exclamation point, kind of what they require, right? But what strong really means is something that's long, random, and unique to each site. So the good news is you don't have to invent the wheel or any of this. So when you sign up for an account or change a password in Safari, your Mac offers an automatic strong password and it saves it for you so you never have to memorize it. That's the workflow we want every time. Now, there are multiple ways to create passwords for a website. So let's start with the easiest. Let's create a new account so you can see this in real time. I'm in Safari on the signup page. I click into the password field and Safari suggests use a strong password. I accept and that's it. Mac OS generates something long and random stores it automatically in my keychain, and it'll be available on my other Apple devices through iCloud Keychain. Next time I return to the site, I'll just pick the login and the Touch ID sensor, no typing, and I'm in. It's that simple. Now maybe you already have an account and a password, and let's call it a vintage password, all right? Open the Passwords app and click All, hit the plus button, to add a password. Type the website username and then click password field to generate a strong one. Save. Now it's in your vault, ready to fill in Safari. If you wanna change an existing login, select it and choose edit. Or click change password on website. Now there are some websites out there that aren't as secure as others. So what I mean by that is occasionally a site might say no special characters, or they might force a maximum length, sometimes even shorter than what the passwords app will generate. So when that happens, click the suggested password and adjust the format. Shorter length or no special characters, 
while keeping it random. Save it, and you still get a strong, unique password that fits their rules. Now, the beauty of the Passwords app is that once your login is saved, Autofill does the heavy lifting. You just simply visit the site, click the username field, it'll pop up where you can choose your account, use Touch ID, and you're in. Sounds too good to be true, doesn't it? Well, it is. So Autofill and iCloud Keychain are designed to generate, save, and fill credentials across all of your devices so the process is safe and smooth. Inside passwords, check the security and recommendations area. If Apple flags something that's weak or reused, maybe even found in a known data leak, click through and use the change password on website to rotate. I tell my personal clients to schedule a 10 minute password tune up once a month. Fix the reds, keep the greens. Of course, if you saw mine that are red, you'd say I'm a huge hypocrite, but just do your best to stay safe on the web. So here's why this all works great. Number one, uniqueness. A breach on one site doesn't cascade to your other logins. So if you're using password one, two, three, four, exclamation point, and a certain site gets hacked, well, that's gonna be pretty easy to go put in your username and password for other sites to try to hack into other accounts you might have, right? So uniqueness is key. Number two, randomness. Automatic strong passwords are hard to guess and hard to crack. Number three, convenience. Because it's saved and synced, you actually stick with the system. And if a site offers pass keys, that's even better. No password to steal or fish, but that's a separate deep dive. So be sure to like and subscribe to be notified when I drop that video. Now, if something isn't working the way that I showed, make sure you're signed into the same Apple ID in all of your devices. That iCloud keychain is turned on in the system settings, iCloud and passwords, and that Safari has usernames and passwords enabled in settings autofill. So that means going directly into Safari and clicking on Safari in the menu bar and choosing settings there and making sure autofill is turned on. And that you actually save logins for the same domain you're trying to sign into. Again, any problems, shoot them in the comments below and I'll help you out the best I can. So all right, your action steps. Open the Passwords app. Take a quick look around. Turn on iCloud Keychain so your logins follow you. And the next time you sign up for or change a password, accept, use strong password, and let the Mac do it for you. Simplify your life and strengthen your password security. I'm Chris with Simple Tech. If this helped, tap like, subscribe for more Apple tips, and drop any questions you have below. I appreciate you tuning in and watching, and I hope you have a good one.